Toby Tuesday. Here we go. Gotta go get Toby, answer your guys' questions. And yeah, keep on rocking. Hey, Tobes. Go for a cruise. Da -da 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 Toby. Is that your favorite spot, buds? Hanging in the shade? Shady days? Oh yeah, oh yeah. So, 31 degrees out. I love it, love it. Hate winter, I'm, as you get older, you seem to enjoy summer more. When I was a kid, I just loved winter, but you know, it's cold, it hurts the joints. So, Toby Tuesday, we got the Tobes. We got your questions. And we got the video. So, let's answer these up. Get the day going. Oh, huh? you try to eat my face? Yeah? Yeah. You want some bacon? Yeah. Yeah. As always, lots of questions. A couple good ones. A couple repeater questions that you get every week. But yeah, thank you guys as always. Hope you guys enjoyed the minivan jump video. We measured it out. It was 75 feet to the dot from where it took off to where it front ended into the side of the jump. So I think we can do 100 feet, but it's gonna take some work, so. Um, yeah, had an awesome weekend at CMT. Go for Dunes, it was awesome meeting all the fans there. Thank you guys. If you guys <coughs> have any pictures with me, just uh, post them on Instagram and tag them so I can see them. That would be A-O-K. -okay. All right, questions. Reptilian tuna, why do you have a greenhouse? Well, when we first bought the farm, we wanted to get into greenhouse things like tomatoes and flowers and all that, all that stuff. So we did that for a while, I think six, seven years, and then kind of just axed it. You know, it does cost a lot to run a greenhouse and especially in the winter with all the heating and everything. So yeah, eventually we kind of just got out of it and uh, yeah, just use that storage now. We have a lot, we're, we've had a lot of requests to grow uh, marijuana in there, but you know, it's not the best idea when it's right beside a main road like this. You'd need a lot of security. <laughs> so, yeah. You sweat, Tobe? Yeah, bacon. Uh, Devin Jorgensen. If you had to switch from Yamaha, what would you choose? Whew, tricky one. I would probably choose a Suzuki for sure. I like them, they're fast bikes, reliable. Um, if I ever got an enduro bike though, I'd get a KTM two-stroke for sure. If I ever decided to go into enduro. But uh, yeah, Suzuki would probably be the bike to go to. But I love my Yamaha. I haven't had any issues with it yet, so. Um, Kyle Shehorn 214 Do you ever just ride your track randomly when no one's there? Well, as a matter of fact, I do. You know, not my whole life is on YouTube, so I do go out two, three times a week just to ride my track, usually kind of in the morning when uh, all my friends are at work, so just slam off a few laps, you know, it keeps me, keeps me active, keeps me in shape, and you know, it's nice to practice every day, and if you don't use it, you'll lose it, right? So, isn't that right, Tobe? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I like to go out there and just throw down some laps and it's nice to ride by yourself too because when you're with a lot of other people it gets pretty dusty so when you're by yourself it's not too bad. Um, Nick Dodge, Dodgy, Doji, whatever happened to the Renegade 800 and the Razor 800? Well, I decided that I was going to jump them and do a lot of crazy shit on them and I ended up snapping frames, bending frames, snapping drive shafts. So they kind of voided the warranty real fast. So I got rid of them, but I would like to get another set of those cause they're way too much fun. And they're nice in the winter too. And when there's not enough snow for sledding, but not an, or too much for dirt biking. So, but you can only have so many toys at a time. Uh, last question, Blake Lindley, Mark. Oh, this is for 
basically last week when my phone screwed up. So says, Mark, hold the home and power button on your iPhone at the same time to fix it. Well, you see, I did everything. I tried that, tried restarting it, restoring it, but uh, it was definitely some issue on my iPhone that didn't, that Apple has never seen before. So they uh, ended up just replacing my phone. Basically the screen went black, it was on, but you couldn't, there wasn't making any sounds and the screen went black. And when you plugged into the computer, it just said, this phone is in recovery mode, please restore it. And then I tried to restore it and it said I need to update the iPhone, but I had the latest update, so I don't know, couldn't win. So I just took it in and they gave me a new one under Apple Care. but yeah. So thank you guys for all the questions. Hope you have a great week ahead of you. And any video requests, just throw it in the comments below. We got lots of good videos at the end of this one. If you want to click on them, check them out, check out the links. Um, yeah, see if we can get another car this week to jump and to flip or I don't know, do something crazy with. So, any words, Tobe? Yeah. Keep your stick on the ice, rubber down, something like that. All right. Thanks, guys.